All right, YouTube family, it's your boy Superman 2000. I'm in the fight mobile. Now here I am, just rolling down. One of our main man in West Virginia sent me a text. Some news about an MMA fighter who shot himself in the head. I did a video on that recently, by the way. But then, this guy it got me thinking. This guy shot himself in the head in that game of Russian roulette. Irresponsible gun owner. Then, this other guy in Florida shot up a nightclub. Then all of a sudden now, I'm seeing Congress saying, hey, we're going to do a filibuster. We're going to be on the floor all night talking about guns, taking immediate action against guns. Now, let me get this straight. There's 2 million RP-15 sold in the United States every year. And after 2 million, a couple nutbags get them and shoot up school kids and innocent people. I'm not saying that's right. I'm not justifying that. I'm saying that those nut jobs should have been shot and gunned down like the dogs they are. But at the same time, check this out. You can't take away my gun from me because of those irresponsible guys. Don't blame me because of those guys. You understand? I use my guns to protect my house and to go hunting. All right? I have a constitutional right to bear my arms. Now, let me, let me explain something to you guys here. Just because these other guys are irresponsible, don't take it out on me. When a criminal wants a gun, he doesn't go into a store and say, Hello, friend, I'm here to buy a gun. Yes, here is my driver's license. Uh, here is necessary documentation. And oh, I'll be charging that to my MasterCard. He doesn't say that. Nah, he goes down the street. Talk to some shady looking guy, and the guy said, What you want? He says, I want a burner. Then he gives the guy $200, and all of a sudden he has a Glock. Now, if he wants a high powered rifle, then he's going to give the guy $600. If he does not have the $600, then the guy will say, You know what? Give me three now, and when you go rob and kill, whoever you're going to rob and kill, Pay me the rest later. That's called street financing. Alright? No background check. No haggling. No hassle. Now, I go into the store to purchase my arms. I have to have all my documentation. Alright? I gotta have everything. Now I'm going to tell you a story about the first gun I bought. Mossberg shotgun from Walmart. At the time, my wife and I lived in an apartment complex. Young couple just got married, just pulling ourselves together financially, just making it. The guy next door, the house next door to mine, somebody broke in. And tried to rape the woman and she screamed out for help. She kept screaming and fighting and praying and saying, Jesus, no, no, no. And fighting the guy off. When the guy realized that everybody in the neighborhood started waking up in the apartments, he jumped off her, grabbed her TV set, and was running out. Now I saw this guy drop the TV set in the snow right up my window. And that criminal got away. Right? Criminal got away. Still prowling around the neighborhood. Cops couldn't find him. He would show up. People called the cops. He would disappear. Now mind you, this is in the apartment right next to mine. So I said, you know what? I tell my wife, uh -uh, we're not going out like this. Let's go to Walmart. And get some power. So I went to Walmart. I said, you know what? Let's get the Mossberg shotgun. 
provided all documentation needed. They did a little number, run, run background information thing. The woman behind the counter. I hate to get racist on you, but I gotta get racist on you. Black woman saw me, a young black man, didn't want to sell me the rifle. Sister didn't want to sell me the rifle. You know who it was that sold me the rifle? The manager. I called his store on my phone and I said, Look here, man. Listen here. What's the store policy? I'm buying firearms. The manager says, Sir, you walk in, you provide documentation, we do what we gotta do. If everything is good, you get your firearms. I paid my money. I called the manager and said, Well, I tell you what, that's not happening in the store right now. Your employees refusing to sell me the firearms. So this woman, she thought I was gonna go out and shoot somebody in the head with these firearms, not even knowing that I'm trying to protect my wife and myself from these thugs that were going around trying to break into the apartments. You understand? And when that guy came, a white guy came, he came over, we shook hands, met eye to eye, I was a manager, and you know the first thing that he said to me, I tell you what he said to me, it's your right, sir, to have arms. You're a law-abiding citizen. Exactly. So don't give me that BS about not, uh, uh, you know, I, I was pissed. Eventually me and my wife were able, were able to move out of that neighborhood into a better neighborhood then move again into a much, much, much better neighborhood. But that doesn't mean that these criminals aren't still out there wanting to come break into my house. Why couldn't they come not steal my nicer things from me? Okay? So I, I moved from a, a, a what? A, 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 a 600, 600, uh, uh, I, I don't know how, how, how big the apartment was. A small apartment to a 6,000 square foot house. I have nice things in there and I work hard all my life for. You think these criminals not going to want to come break in there and get it? You make a sad mistake. They, yeah, that, that's how they think. They're entitled to your stuff. They're entitled to your stuff. And when they go to jail, they get to lift weights and develop more skills about how to rob and steal. Now, I'm not saying all of them are don't go to jail and become criminals again. Some of them actually get reformed and turn their life around. That's great. Now, I'm talking about the other kind. The career criminal. When he's coming to break into your house, he's coming armed to the teeth. Automatic rifles, ski mask, bulletproof vest, and body armor. And you're going to tell me that I can't have a firearm. You're going to tell me that, hey, you shouldn't have a firearm because a nutbag killed some people. Well, wait, wait, wait one second here. This guy, the nutbag, was interviewed two times. I'm talking to the guy in Florida. Was interviewed two times by the FBI for allegedly trying to make communication with ISIS. He was also background checked and given a clearance to be an armed guard. In addition to that, he held his wife hostage in the house and our family had to come get her. I don't know what that is, something. Split, well, I guess, I'm rounding on. So, so, I'm just a, ah! So, so, let me finish the video now. So his, his family had to come get her. So this nutbag is trying to keep me from it's going to affect me getting more guns to protect my home. Now you might say, well, Superman, how many guns do you need? The shotgun, 
Is that enough? A Glock, is that enough? An RP-15, is that enough? Hey, listen, man. I can own as many guns as I want. It's my constitutional right. As long as I'm a responsible gun owner, as long as I'm not putting those guns in a place where my kids can get to them and hurt themselves, as long as I'm using it for self-defense, hunting or recreational use, I'm good. Okay? So, when you take my firearm from me, that criminal that's coming in my house, he's coming to kill. Now, a little something that I want to mention to the rest of you guys here. That I'm an American citizen. And when I took the oath to become an American citizen, go look it up and see what it says. I took an oath that I would fight to defend this constitution and this democracy if I had to. If necessary. You understand? And we're currently now taking all these people from other countries, refugees. Not call, I'm not going to say Syria. I'm not going to say Afghanistan. I'm not going to say specific names or religion. But you know, you know them. They've also gone into Europe. And Europe and Germany have opened their doors to them. You see the wonderful job they're doing in Europe, right? Blocking streets at certain hours. You see the wonderful job they're doing, right? Okay? Beating up women for, for not carrying themselves fully covered in England. Going down the street in a thousand man strong group in Germany molesting and raping women on the subway oh fantastic the german chancellor is telling people women that they should get mace to protect themselves and that they shouldn't even be on the other side of town where these new people are moving of a certain religion now you tell me we're taking these people in america here the FBI has told us clearly they're, they're not able to background check these people properly or vet them properly. You don't think that these people are going to try and march a standing army into America and do the same thing? Let me tell you something, my friend. They're going to do it. And when that day comes, I took an oath and I will be fully prepared and ready as an American citizen to fight for my family and for my country that I love. You're not gonna take my gun from me. And this nutbag that shot this club up. Do you think if other people there were armed, they would have been able to defend themselves? Huh? I'm not giving up my guns because of these nutbags. I'm keeping my guns. Now, I don't want to make this video too long. I don't want to go into too much constitutional mumbo jumbo because a lot of people are blinded emotionally and they don't understand that. Hey, listen. The founding father of this country, they knew that the citizens would have to have the rights to bear arms. If tyranny ever rose up or tried to suppress us, we have to have a right to defend ourselves. You understand? There are certain parts of this country in the middle of nowhere, Alaska, Nebraska, those far out places, a thousand of square miles and only four or 17 police officers to cover it. If something happens, it's going to take the police at least an hour and a half to get there to clean up the remains of your family. These perverted criminals, they, they show no mercy. When they come, you have to be ready and armed to the teeth to gun them down like the sick, 
scum dogs they are. So I'm not giving up my gun over some irresponsible guy who was playing Russian roulette and blow his brains out. Or over some guy with a nut bag killing people thinking he's gonna get 20 virgins on the other side. Okay? He's not getting no virgins on the other side. He's in a, he's in a, he's in a hot place called hell rolling over right now. Okay? Uh, I, I know that some of you say, oh, that, that's mean for me to say. I shouldn't say who will ascend or descend. I, I know that. But I'm telling you, I'm not giving up my guns. If a terrorist attack happened tomorrow, and the police or the National Guard is unable to step up. The men in my neighborhood, former military, former police officers and myself, will get our firearms and we'll patrol our streets if we have to. But we'll not relent and we'll not yield to tyranny. Sorry I take it so serious today, guys. It's Superboy Superman 2000 from the fight cheer. Peace out.